Welcome back to Get Google Ready for 2024. And in this lesson, I'm gonna be taking you through the step-by-step -step process in how to optimize your Performance Max campaigns. Now, when it comes to your Performance Max campaigns, there's gonna be five key areas that you can go through and optimize for your campaigns. And the first part that you can optimize in your Performance Max campaigns is your keywords and the audiences. So this is the keywords that is triggering your ads and also the audiences that Google is showing your ads to. However, what I do wanna make really, really clear that with Performance Max is you're not actually setting targets or you're not setting boundaries for what Google can and can't do. You're more giving recommendations and really reinforcing to Google that these are the keywords that you wanna target and these are the audiences that you wanna target. And that's why it's really, really important when it comes to setting up your Performance Max campaigns is that you're setting them out with your asset groups which are based around products or keyword themes not around audiences. I see some people, they recreate uh, the same products or keywords, but just targeting different audiences. And Performance Max doesn't work like that because Google makes it very, very clear that the keywords and audience inputs that you're giving the asset group are just that, very much recommendations. They're, they're not gonna be hard rules. So that's the first thing when it comes to keywords and audiences. Yes, you can go through and review your insights and you can add in extra keywords or add in extra audiences, but please remember they're just recommendations. The second thing that you can do when it comes to optimizing your performance max campaigns is your ad assets. So your different headlines, your different videos and your different images. Remember with performance max that it gives you that tiered rating score so you either get ads that are ranked good best or low. The third thing that you can do, and this is especially true for Performance Max campaigns that are operating with a shopping feed, so e-commerce products. What you can also do is you can also go through and optimize the products that Google is using or the way that it's Google is spending between the product feed. The other thing that you can do is you can go through and review your segmentation. And what that means is that it's actually looking at how many different campaigns you're having and what products you've got in different types of campaigns. The reason for why that is good, especially for an e-commerce brand, is let's just say you have some products which have different product margins, or they have different traffic volumes, or they may have some seasonality factors. So they might be, for example, swimwear, might be really popular for three to four months of the year, but then aren't really a popular item. So in those cases, what you can do is you can break them out into different campaigns. And then finally, you can go through and review and optimize your different automated bidding strategies. So your maximize conversions or your maximize conversion value. For today's video, I'm just gonna focus on those first three factors and the reason for that is because when it comes to campaign segmentation I'm going to be releasing another video in this series about advanced account structures and then I'm also going to be releasing another video to focus purely on bidding because those two last two optimization actions are a little bit more complicated I wanted to give you a individual video for each of those. So right now, let me take you through how to optimize your Performance Max campaigns. And what I wanna let you know that as we're going through this process, I'm gonna be using my Google Ads Optimization Checklist. And this is a checklist which not only lets you know all of the different actions you need to complete, it also lets you know how often they need to be completed. And if you wanted to get access to my Google Ads Optimization Checklist, all you need to do is to follow that link in the description below. So let's jump into a screen share so I can show you how to optimize your Performance Max campaigns the right way in 2024. So for your Performance Max campaigns, there's actually two different checklists you can use. There's this one, which is my e-commerce checklist, which takes you through the shopping and Performance Max, or you can go over to my service-based checklist, which is search, Performance Max and display. I will just reference the e-commerce checklist, but what I am gonna be doing is I'll be putting links down to both checklists in the video description. So what we need to do is firstly, we're gonna be going through and reviewing the search term audits and the audiences. So what you wanna be doing in here is that you wanna be selecting a Performance Max campaign, which we'll use this one in here. And where you wanna be going is into your insights and you can do both of these actions on the same screen. So what you're looking at at firstly in here is you are looking at the search term. So we'll go for the last 28 days. And then what you can also do is you can also see your audiences down here. So generally what I'll do when I'm doing this is I'll actually have a separate notes document that I'll have open as well. And I generally have this over to the side of the screen. And I'll show you what we do from here. I'll keep this one in through here. So when we go into the detailed report is that what we're looking at doing here is we're looking at are there any search terms which have been converting? So I can see through in here 
And are there any which I know aren't in our campaign? So what we can do, let's just see here. So I'll go through and just copy this. So I'll add two in here. So as you can see now, I would go through and do this longer, but I just wanna show you the process. So I've got here some keywords. And then what we go through and do is that we go down into the audiences. So we need to go back into insights. And when it comes to the audiences, what you're looking at through here is that when you get enough conversions, you'll see it by impressions, clicks, and conversions. And the other things that you'll see in here is you'll see blue tags and green tags. Now the blue tags means that this audience has already been added to your audience signal. The green tags mean that they haven't been added, but they are converting. So Google is focusing on them. And what I basically do is I don't focus on impressions, don't even focus on clicks. Now, before you get this conversions tag, you will only see impressions and clicks. You may wanna add in some of these clicks, but as long as they're relevant. But then when you get to the conversions, so for example, this is a baby product, and you can see that we've got this audience group, family vacationers. Now that makes sense because obviously, you know, you've got with baby products, they're also families. So what we can do from here is that we then paste that in there and then luxury shoppers. Once again, because this is really not a luxury item and because it's got a personalization and it's not a necessary kids product, that's why it would be picking up into luxury shoppers. And what I would do there is I would add this into my notes. So you can see through here, we've got some keywords and some audiences that we wanna add. And then what we wanna do from here is that we wanna go into the campaign, we wanna go into the asset groups. And then in our signals, we wanna be doing two things. So we wanna go through and add the search themes, which are these ones in here. And then when we're in the audience signal, what we wanna do is, so we had, family vacationers and also luxury shoppers and we wanted to add them in. Now, as I said, remember, these are very much recommendations because as we've said time and time again, when we come to a Performance Max campaign, Google makes it very, very clear that these are just recommendations. Google will go beyond these selections. So that's the first thing that we wanna go through. So the next part, after we've actually gone through and reviewed our keywords and audiences, the next step is that you wanna go through and review your ad assets. So you click on view details, now you can see here that I'm getting a data saying there's not enough data and that's because we made some changes not too long ago. Now because I got that warning of not enough data, which can happen if you've recently made some changes. So if that's the case, I would just wait another couple of weeks, come back and check it and then you'll get the data. But what I'm gonna be doing in here is I've come over to another campaign and what you can see through here is we've got this good best. Now, what we wanna be looking for is if there's anything with a low performance. So what I generally do from here is you can see on these long headlines, these two have low performances. So I'll go through into here, click the edit button, go into the long headlines and basically choose those two headlines which had the perform performance and then add in some other headlines. So what you're wanting to do through here, now this is different to a search campaign where you've got two physical ads. With this one, we're only using these performance markers. So what we do is we just go through and we wanna update any headlines or descriptions that have a low. So there's a couple of images that I need to come up with and create new versions of those images so we can add in some extra testing. And then the third thing that we wanted to go through and show you how you to optimize in your Performance Max campaign, and this one is only gonna be relevant for e-commerce brands. So what you wanna be doing is you wanna be going through your listing groups. And what you wanna be checking here is that you wanna be checking to make sure that where Google is spending the money you are also getting the same level of conversion. So what I'd be doing through here is generally what I do is I, I filter this down by cost. And what we can see through here is that, you know, we're getting a really good flow of where we're spending the money. We're also getting the most conversions and the most conversion value. Let's just switch it over to the last 30 days. What you want to be looking at is something like here, this product. Now we don't have enough data, but you can see that this is in the top 10 products in terms of spend, but it's not getting any conversions. So when you get a case like this, I wouldn't mark it off because this isn't enough data. Generally, you want to be looking at not only 30 days. Let's go back to 60 days and you can see 60 days, it hasn't got any spend. And then let's even go back to, we're looking probably now at about 120 days. You can see there's no spend there. So that's the way that you would go through and have a look and really see whether we want to exclude this product. Now, the one thing that I am looking at through here is if you can kind of see, it was the 10th highest rank in terms of spend since July. But then when we go back to the last 30 days, you can see how Google's bumped it up to number six. So it's increasing the amount that it's spending. Once again, 
not enough yet for me to be able to really exclude that. But if we were really, really confident to just to say, look, I'm ready to exclude this product because we've you know spent maybe five, six hundred dollars on it and we're not getting any conversions. And if you did want to exclude that, you just go here and press exclude. But remembering what you want to be doing here is it's more just looking at this flow and you just want to make sure that where you're spending the money is also where you're getting the majority of your conversions. And that's the process that you can use to optimize your performance max campaigns in 2024. And remember, if you want to get access to my optimization checklists, all you need to do is to follow that link in the description below and you'll see an option to go to the checklist for your if you're an e-commerce brand or if you're a service-based business. So once again, thank you for joining me. My name is Aaron Young and I'm from Define Digital Academy. And remember that if you want to stay up to date and know every time I release a new video, make sure that you don't only subscribe, but you turn on the notification bell. And if you wanna go through and watch all of the videos that have released so far in my Get Google Ready series for 2024, just go through and watch this playlist right here. Once again, thanks for joining me. See you next time.